Right now, a baby is being born somewhere in your community. By the end of the day, dozens, perhaps hundreds, will be born. Most will be happy, healthy babies. But too many will be born too soon and too small. And too many will die before their first birthdays. Across the country, five babies die every hour. Their deaths give the United States one of the highest infant mortality rates among Western industrialized nations. In some parts of some American cities and states, the infant mortality rate is higher than in many third world countries. Infant mortality in America is a national embarrassment and a national tragedy because it's largely preventable. The experts all agree that almost half the babies who are dying in your community could have lived if their mothers had received early and repeated prenatal care. Early and repeated prenatal care. A simple solution to a complex problem. Your community may be like ours here in Chicago, where infant mortality is especially serious. That's why WBBM and the University of Chicago hospitals have undertaken the most extensive community service campaign of its kind ever attempted in Chicago. Beautiful Babies, right from the start. Beautiful Babies Right from the Start was developed by the Massachusetts-based Wishnow Group with Washington, D.C.'s WRC-TV. Comprehensive and community-driven, it rests on a powerful alliance of media, business, and not-for-profit organizations. The media promotes the project with guaranteed airtime and sponsorable programming, often worth millions of dollars. Business and corporations provide underwriting, and government and not-for-profit organizations network the community and manufacture the goods and services of the project. Most importantly, Beautiful Babies provides an intervention in the problem, a coupon book that is an incentive for an expectant mother to receive the early and repeated prenatal care so important to the health of her unborn child. Beautiful Babies begins with an awareness phase to awaken the public to the issue, its urgency, and to the solution. Here at WBBM and in communities like yours, there are PSAs. If you're pregnant, it's very important that you get early and regular health care before your baby's born. For help with your pregnancy, call 1-800-545-2200. Editorials. Channel 2 is proud to be a part of the Beautiful Babies campaign, a campaign designed to help reduce the alarmingly high infant mortality rate in the Chicago area. News series. Live. Tonight, Michelle Channel Holden continues here. her series of special reports on beautiful babies right from the start. Teacher Kimberly Mancini is it used to a lot of questions from her students, but now the 38-year-old who's expecting her second child finds she's asking a lot of questions. Chicago has the third highest infant mortality rate in the country due to, in large part, to a lack of prenatal care. Of the 54,000 births among white and, and Hispanic women, in 1986, 20% did not have prenatal care. And special local community programs. I'm Steve Baskerville. Coming up next on Common Ground, infant mortality in Chicago. The story behind the numbers. Then the year-long intervention phase begins with the introduction of the Beautiful Babies coupon book. Any expectant mother can receive the coupon book absolutely free. It's filled with valuable information on nutrition, exercise, what to expect from her medical care, and much more. In the back of the book, dozens of pages of reference numbers for transportation, parenting classes, quit smoking hotlines, and more. It covers a baby's first year of life with information on baby's growth and development. And coupons worth hundreds of dollars for maternity clothes, healthful foods, baby care items, even coupons for her partner, and coupons for toys and baby food for baby's first year. But an expected mother cannot redeem those coupons unless they are validated by her health care provider every month at her monthly prenatal visit. The coupon book is thus a true incentive to receive early and repeated prenatal care. How do expectant mothers receive the book? As a mother-to-be, you require some very special care throughout your pregnancy. And that's the campaign you know. message is clear and direct. If you're having a baby, get baby's first book. Our PSAs feature the project message and project coupon book phone number. These are aired throughout the day. To get her own copy of the book, an expectant mother can call the toll-free number or mail in a postage-paid reply card. And within days, the coupon book is on its way to her. There is also a half-hour program we call Baby's First Book that describes the project. 
And major newspapers can participate, like the Chicago Tribune here, contributing a special newspaper supplement, editorial, and ad support. A dedicated public-private partnership is what makes Beautiful Babies work. And work it did in Washington, D.C., where the project was first tested in 1986. After a year on the air in D.C., 70% of the population was aware of the project, the issue, and the solution. 80% of all expected mothers requested and received the coupon book. Prenatal visits to public health clinics increased 22%. And infant mortality in the district decreased. For its efforts, Beautiful Babies received a presidential citation and dozens of public service and media awards. Infant mortality is internationally regarded as a cornerstone measure of a society's regard for the welfare of its citizens. The United States is currently failing that test. In Chicago and throughout the country, Beautiful Babies is helping to turn the tide, one part of a much needed effort to see that all of our babies will be beautiful babies right from the start. It is a Judy Woodruff featured beautiful babies on the national hour-long PBS documentary, Caring for Tomorrow's Children. The campaign was launched in 1986. Its sponsors, working in tandem with the district government, were determined to educate the public and bring down the city's infant mortality rate, which is the highest in the nation. Too high for me. Even the city's health commissioner, Reed Tuxen, participated. I'd like to remind all pregnant women of the relationship between your lifestyle and your health and the health of your developing baby. I think it is important that we, we have this dramatic uh, bombardment, as it were, of our community with the message, not only because it reaches people and it serves to further facilitate the behavioral changes that we want to see, but it does something else. It's, it focuses our community on a major issue in this city. Washingtonians have become more aware of the problem, as researcher Bob Gould learned in a study. What the evaluation showed quite clearly is that uh, awareness of infant mortality is a special problem for the Washington community uh, went up 15 percent, which is uh, significant statistically. And what was also especially um, heartening about the evaluation findings was that for the particular subgroups that were of a special interest of the campaign, and that would include younger women, blacks, and uh, people in the District of Columbia, that the message got through uh, even more clearly. And women responded to the message. More sought care, and the city health department responded to the new demand by increasing services. Reed Tuxen says progress has been made. We also know that there are more women now who are receiving early and continuous prenatal care. In fact, in our public health clinics, we know that there has been now 22% increase in the number of women who have received prenatal care this year. And of course, that all of that together also accounts for the 6% decrease in our infant mortality rate. Sarah Brown says the Washington campaign has been successful because a comprehensive approach was taken. Well, I think Dr. Tuxen understands very, very well the need for a comprehensive approach to improving pregnancy services. Uh, <clears throat> the media campaigns are seen as only one part of a package of activities. When media campaigns are part of activities like that, I think they have genuine promise of drawing women into care who otherwise would have stayed out. The message is clear. Motivation plus service equals results. Good television ads motivate mothers to get care for their babies, and they'll go for care. Beautiful Babies continues to earn national press coverage. New York Times. 
We're meeting our goal to get women into care earlier and often, says Leatrice Berman, Chicago's Beautiful Babies General Manager. Fortune Magazine. In the Washington campaign's first full year, Blue Cross spent $1 million less on neonatal care. Every healthy baby helps the company's bottom line. TV Guide. Cheers to WBBM-TV in Chicago for pursuing a worthy policy, promotion through public service. Channels Magazine. Public service TV has come a long way from its Sunday morning rap sessions. Win-win programs such as the Wish Now Design Beautiful Babies have had an impressive impact on pressing social problems. One baby in a hundred dies before the age of one in this country, but there is an innovative program called Beautiful Babies Right from the Start that's trying to cut that infant mortality rate. Dan Noyes reports from Chicago. The first time Charlene Cowan saw a doctor about her pregnancy was the day she delivered. They said that um, I had high blood pressure. Um, I could have died or they could die. Her daughter was two months premature and is at a greater risk of dying in her first 12 months because her mother had no prenatal care. Each year in this country, 40,000 babies die before their first birthday. The U.S. rate of infant mortality is higher than 21 other industrialized nations. Now, cities like Chicago are taking on an innovative project to save young lives. We can improve pregnancy outcomes if we simply connect women to care earlier on and keep them going. Beautiful Babies Right from the Start uses donated media time to promote proper prenatal care. Special booklets take a mother through pregnancy month by month and give her discount coupons that can be redeemed only if stamped after a checkup. If she came back the next month, she'd keep on getting the coupons and the goods and services. So we were trying to compel her to go through the process. Critics say the booklets are not an incentive for those who need it most, for inner city mothers, many of whom can't afford baby products, even with a discount. Despite the shortcomings, 11 cities have decided to try the Beautiful Babies Project. Their message? Some medical attention before birth can save a life after delivery. Dan Noyes, ABC News, Chicago. Chicago's Beautiful Babies Project is gaining momentum. With 40,000 coupon books distributed in the first four months and 7,000 health providers participating, WBBM is reaching more than 2 million people with its programming and PSAs. And the project materials are in over 5,000 community, public health, and retail locations throughout Chicago.